Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. This morning I woke up with vertigo. Isn't that just a joy? It's I have I have actually vertigo most of my life. It's it's not so it stops me from moving, but it just makes you feel nauseated. For those of you that have been pregnant and had morning sickness, that's what it's like, but all day long. That's what it feels like. Um, you just get, you just want to throw up, but you don't throw up. Well, anyways, I got up early because I wanted to go to the core and more class today. And when I got up, I was feeling pretty crappy. So I had a little breakfast. I ate some bacon, had some coffee, and decided, and put my gym shoes on. And then I decided maybe I'll go back to bed. So I laid back down for a little while, for about 15 minutes, and then I thought, oh, this bed is even sort of spinning, so maybe I better just get up and go. So I got up and went. And when I got there, they were it was um, an aerobics class, which was great. The aerobics part was great. The weights were, that was good too, but then we had to lay down on the floor. That's the killer, because when you lay down on your back, if you have vertigo, <laughs> it can set it off to make it worse. So that's what I think. I think it started with the Pilates because everything was on the floor. And I could feel the room a little spinny when I was doing that. Um, but this, today, I think it was um, after the oh, laying down on the floor. What you did is you... you laid on the floor and did some weights with the weights and the stretchy band and I, I had told the teacher that I'm going to have to modify my parts on that so I will do something different. I won't be laying on the floor because I, there's no fun in exercising if you're going to feel ill afterwards. So that's what I did today. Then I came home and I watched a bunch of videos on how to get rid of vertigo. Well. <laughs> I know how to do it, but to do it, I'm going to feel really, really sick, and I don't think I can do it. My husband lays over the exercise ball. He just lays, and his head is hanging down. If my head was hanging down like that, I'd be throwing up in about three seconds. Backwards. Backwards. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't. I And when you put your hands up in the air and look up, up high, you'll feel yourself kind of lean. Or if I bend down to undo the dog, you feel yourself leaning like you're going to go. And when I wake up in the morning and I walk down the hallway, I feel like the hallway is slanted. Like You know how the fun houses are where they have the slanted floor? Well, that's how my world is. It's slanted. Isn't that exciting that all this nice stuff I'm telling you today, it's not very interesting. But if you've got vertigo, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or if you've got dizziness. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's what I did today. And then um, we were trying to find, we, we tried to get better internet. This is terrible, the internet around here, because the download speed is good. It's, or no, the uploads, no, the download, the download speed can is can be 20. But upload is like one and a half. What do you call it? 1.5 meg per second. Meg per second, which is horrible. And we're paying an awful price for it. And it's still too slow. And then we were trying to get a different kind, but we have to find the um, where the lines were buried under the ground because we don't want to put any, any wires on the house. It makes the houses look bad. Plus, it's better if it can be underground. And so he was he had my, my metal detector out there and trying to find where he buried the line from the phone li phone lines and I don't know what else is under there. Just, Just the phone, phone line. line. Just the phone line is under the ground. Trying to find that. And so I went out to the camper to get the, the little video that came with the metal detector that we bought, oh gosh, probably 10 years ago and we never really used it. I did use it when I wanted to find the, the marker for my um, property line. I did find that, um, but I haven't used it in a long time. So he was using that. And so I went out to the camper to get the instruction book and the little videotape that we've never watched. Well, we watched it. And then when we put it in the machine to watch it, it was a VHS tape. 
the one machine didn't want to play it just was plain sound and it used to work I didn't know it didn't want to do picture now so we went upstairs to the other VHS tape machine that one started eating the tape got the tape out and then I went to the camper and got the little TV that has the built-in VHS thing with it and so we watched it on that one it was a, it's a little 12 inch screen I think it's not very big 12 or 13 inch screen it's a little screen and after watching something on and I don't know ours aren't real big 32 inches ours aren't real big we don't, I I had to buy a TV that fit my cabinet and I don't want to see the TV so it's going to be hard to replace this because now they're making TV screens so big it's ridiculous you have to have a big room or sit way back but um, we will, that was it, I guess. What was I going to say? You, um, nothing else, probably. I don't know. Well, and I did videotape the chickens a little bit today, but um, Emma's chickens got out of the fence. So Jim was weed whacking along the electric fence because the, it was like, they're so little that they just fit through the little square. Apparently, they're not getting shocked because they don't notice it. They, they wouldn't come out if they were getting shocked. And then you go to help them back in, and they're like running away from you. And finally, finally, they go back in, and then they come back out. They're so naughty. They're naughty little chicks, but they're tiny. They're just little tiny things still. I will um, sometime put a tape in of them. I'm not going to today because this is probably getting too long already. And I will um, talk to you all again tomorrow. So I guess I'll say goodbye. Bye-bye.